Well, it's the sale ladies look forward to every spring and fall where they can score some great deals on gently used name brand items. But thanks to COVID-19, Divine Consign is having to be postponed. Here with all of the details are the owners of Divine Consign, Tracy Clayton and Lisa Cook. And it looks like we're starting with Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Hey, how are you? I'm great, but I know... As, as sad as I am about Divine Consign being um, postponed, you're even more so. So let's talk a little bit about, first of all, what Divine Consign is for those um, people at home who may not be familiar with the sale. Divine Consign is that semi-annual semi sale, sorry, that we do with women. Um, it's consignment. You clean out your closets, which we're here to tell you this is a great time to do that. <laughs> And you, um, you, pr you price your items and you bring them to us at the time of the sale. Now, unfortunately, we don't know what time that will be yet. So well, do you think maybe when things are cleared up in maybe May, you'll do it again and stick with your same theme of being um, spring items? Or do you have any ideas on that yet? I, I, our hopes was were, would really be for the fall and maybe an all season sale so everybody could clean out everything. But we're kind of thinking it might not be till May. And we've got Tracy hanging out with us too, the other owner of Divine Consign. So this is the perfect opportunity for ladies um, to start cleaning out their closets and maybe make a little money come fall to um, be able to spend more at the sale. <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, we're all finding we're all finding ourselves home a lot. So um, I've been doing the same, but it's a great time to sort of get in your closets and clean them out and hopefully if you have place to store them when we um, can offer you a good sale we can do more of an all season where you can get rid of everything that you've cleaned out um, you do make 60 percent of um, your items that sell so if we can offer you a big sale come fall or maybe spring um, we'd love to do that but I do have some tips for cleaning out the closet well, yeah, let's have them, because I know Marie okay. Kondo kind of took over yeah. last spring, and everyone, <laughs> if it doesn't spark a little joy, it's got to go. So what are your tips? Okay, so the first thing I would say, um, no matter what size your closet is, I would take every single piece out. Um, if you're working with, you know, a large closet, you can do segments. If it's a small closet, just start with taking every single piece of clothing out of your closet. The second thing I would do is try on. Um, I would play around with it. I would um, take a piece and think about what you're going to wear with it. What are you going to accessorize with it? And if it's not something that you think you're going to wear in the next year, put it to the side and make a donate pile or a divine consign pile and let it be a treasure for someone else. Um, the third thing, does it fit? If it doesn't fit now, don't hold on to it. If it's too big, if it doesn't feel comfortable, if the tag itches you, whatever it is, once you put it on, if it doesn't fit, Put it aside and let's sell it. Um, does it feel good? And do you have a social event to wear it to? Is it going to be a work staple piece? Is it going to be something that you're going to wear out and about? Um, number four, I would say, is it in good condition? Is it starting to ravel? Is it starting to have a deodorant stain? Um, is there something about the actual item that's keeping you from not loving it or going to it? And the fifth thing I would say is ask for help. You know, call a girlfriend. Everyone's home right now. Everyone's you know, looking for something to do, do a little try on session with, you know, you can even reach out to Lisa or myself. That's what we do a lot during our sale is, um, you know, play sort of dress up with all of our customers. So if there's something that you just don't know if it's a staple or if it's an item that you want to keep, shoot us an email, sh you know, show us a picture um, and let us help you. Yeah, those are some great tips. And then for your donate pile, Lisa, those can actually go um, to another great cause that you guys are always happy to help out. Yes, we are partnering with Salt and Light again, and um, even as you're cleaning out, like Tracy said, if it already has a stain on it and you notice that, or if it's worn out, they are still taking things even during all this. So even if you're cleaning out your kitchen, you can throw that in too, um, but they will take it now and they recycle it. That's why we give it to them um, at the sale as well. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, and so if it's not something that works for that, we, uh, I would go ahead and go ahead and donate it and get it out of the house. Okay, so uh, everyone start cleaning out those closets now and make your piles, start to tagging. I'm guessing all of the tagging instructions are on your website for people to um, figure out how to do that. If, if you go to consigner on our website and you go to 
down here, you can register. Well, you can register, but it's not gonna get us that far at this point, but you can definitely get a consigner number and then you go under consigner and print my tags. Wonderful. Okay, we'll put all those instructions on our website, CILiving.tv. We know this is a, um, a difficult time for everyone, but hey, if you can start, um, ins instead of procrastinating on getting all those items ready for the sale, start now. So you'll have to keep us posted on sale dates so that we can add it to our calendar. We will. We Do hope so. everybody will stay ahead of it, too, so when it does come up, you won't be overwhelmed with all the clothes you have to get rid of. Exactly. Because you know that quarantine 15, everyone's going to need maybe <laughs> some new clothes. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, so much for being with us. If you all at home need any more information about Divine Consign and you want to keep up to date on their sale date coming up, hopefully this fall, CILiving.tv.